Good morning, I'm Marilyn and welcome to Grace Notes. Let us pray. Dear God, your kingdom has come near to us and yet in this world it can be difficult to see that same kingdom. We believe in your kingdom among us, yet it often seems hidden behind the sufferings that come and the tragedies that strike. The events that seem to proclaim that powers of this world are all that matter. Give us eyes to see you in your kingdom and hearts to worship you at all times in the conviction that finally nothing will separate us from your love in Christ. Amen. Did you realize the Psalms explore emotions? Some of the various emotions we're feeling right now. Our lives have high points and low points. We are sometimes weary when we cannot see the end of our suffering and are overwhelmed. When we have change and loss in our lives, we can feel lost. When we watch the news, we can be disheartened with the state that humanity is in. The Bible contains songs to put voice to all our emotions. One such feeling is lament, which is defined as a passionate expression of grief or sorrow. Many sounds can be used to express this feeling. Some people wail, some cultures keen, some play bagpipes, and still others remain stoic. Whatever circumstance you are in, and whatever emotion you are feeling, a psalm can be found to express it. Know that whatever the psalmist teaches us, God will always be with us. God knows we have many different emotions, and that we need to find safe ways to express all of them. The Psalms in the Bible help us give words to many of the things we feel. Examples could be joy that's found in Psalm 47 and 100, and sorrow found in Psalm 126 and 137. Martin Luther had this to say about Psalms. The human heart is like a ship on a stormy sea, driven about by winds blowing from all four corners of heaven. The book of Psalms is full of heartfelt utterance made during storms of this kind. Where can one find nobler words to express joy than in the Psalms of praises and gratitude? In them you can see into the hearts of saints as if you're looking at a lovely pleasure garden or were gazing into heaven. How fair and charming and delightful are the flowers you will find there? Or where can one find more profound, more penitent, more sorrowful words in which to express grief than in the Psalms of Lamentation? When the Psalms speak of fear or hope, they depict fear and hope more vividly than any painter could do, and with more eloquence than that that possessed Syrio or the greatest of orators. They use such words that no painter could so depict for your fear or hope, and no Syrio or other orator has so portrayed them, and that they speak these words to God. And with God, this, I repeat, is the best thing of all. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me lie in pastures green. He leads me by the still, still waters. His goodness restores my soul. And I will trust in you. And I will trust in you. I 
psalms only for doctrine, you're not reading them for what they are. They are psalms, songs, and poetry. They're musical, and the reason human beings express truth with music and poetry is to awaken and express emotion that fit the truth. One of the reasons the psalms are deeply loved by so many Christians is that they give expression to an amazing array of emotions more explicitly than all the other books in the Bible. The Psalms are designed to awaken and shape our emotions in line with the instructions that they give. What happens when you read and sing the Psalms the way they are intended to be read and sung is that your emotions and your mind are shaped by these Psalms. Take some time this week to look at emotions expressed in the Psalms. They will help identify how you are feeling and help you to express these feelings when you pray. Let us pray. Loving God and Heavenly Guide, be present to me now and let me know your compassion and kindness. Let me experience calmness, tranquility, and peace in all of my emotions. Help me to grow in faith and love. Obtain for me serenity of mind, body, and spirit. My trust and confidence are always with you, and I pray for your blessings of mercy, grace, and goodness that will bring happiness to my life now and always. Amen. <laughs> 